Hey YouTube, I'm back with another little video. I'm in the middle of curling my hair. Um, so ignore this um, hairdo we've got going on. Um, but I was watching this video and, oh man, the Holy Spirit just put a fire in my heart about this topic um, of what's going on in the online ministries. Like I haven't really been scrolling i'll be scrolling a little bit here and there but i've kind of just been staying in my lane with the holy spirit listening to his heart healing you know the things he wants me to heal um like going through processing emotions and stuff like that and just staying low key for the most part and posting whenever the holy spirit wants me to post and you know but i'm not really looking about what's going on online um i'm starting to the past couple of weeks and i'm seeing things and i'm like lord have mercy and this is the theme i'm seeing New believers, and when I say new believers, I'm talking about if you've been saved for under five years. New believers. Like, there's so many new believers that are taking to social media, that are taking to, um, you know, online, and they're teaching, and they're trying to get millions of people to watch their content, to bring, you know, people, quote-unquote, to Jesus, to the gospel, but they themselves don't, they, they don't have, um, you don't want a lot of people following you if you are a new believer. I'm telling you, you, like, you want to be so careful because you are young in the faith. Even if you're an older person, you have a lot of worldly wisdom, you're young in the faith. And so it gets, you're going to get deceived. You're going to fall into the wrong groups. You're going to fall into the wrong crowds and it's really dangerous out here like i've been so grateful that when i've been doing online ministry for the past couple of years i've had my parents around me for the most part and they've got really good discernment and so whenever i heard something online that i had never heard of before like we would talk about it we would go back to scripture they'd pray for me you know and i had that support system of solid foundational truth the bible and people to point me to the bible for the most part there was a season of my life where I won't even talk about that where I did get deceived and I'm it makes me cringe every single day that I fell for the whole like Christians can have demons and all that stuff like I hate that <laughs> makes me so mad but it is what it is the Lord forgives me and we're moving forward and I forgive myself as well so anyway um but when I've seen this I like I just I don't know the point of this video the Holy Spirit was just like just start speaking um if you're doing social media or you see other people doing social media for Jesus, it's not about the following. It's about pleasing Jesus. And this is with anything, not just social media. But I'm telling you, with social media, if you ever hear people say, you ever hear them say, oh, you can get this many followers by doing this or just use Jesus and you'll get these followers. No, because it's not about followers. And yes, it's about spreading the gospel, but it's not... It's about pleasing Jesus. Are you pleasing Jesus and coming out with original content because the Holy Spirit is giving you the creativity because it's who you are. You're being yourself. You know who he's created you to be and you're being yourself. I can speak from just my limited experience, but a little bit of experience in the online sphere, if you want to call it, that I have never listened to a marketing anything to do with social media. Never. I hardly use hashtags. Really, nowadays, I don't use hashtags. A little bit on TikTok, I did use hashtags um, in my earlier time on there. But I really stopped using hashtags because I was like, no. The Holy Spirit told me to quit my job two years ago and do online ministry. He told me to do this, and I need to trust him with that. And he will provide for me. And he has provided every single time not because I've coerced or manipulated people, but because they felt prompted by the Holy Spirit to give to me. And so they were just being obedient. And it's been so humbling to see how this has worked. And in my life, this is just the start. The Lord was developing me. And there's many other things that are not going to be attached to ministry, like in the context of what I do now, um, that will generate money in the future for for my life in a very big way. And I know that, but I'm waiting on the Lord to develop my character before ever, you know, stepping out and doing the things that I know he's gifted me to do to generate income. 
but I want to encourage you that it's not about the money. It's not about what you get in this world. It's not about the success in the tangible sense of this world. Your success, Jesus' people, even if you don't do a single thing on online ministry, but in your life, is to please Jesus and to get to know who he is. If you get to know who Jesus is a little bit more today and you please him with your life today, you are the most successful person. I'm telling you, that is true success. And anything else that happens, like if your business does great, if God blesses your ministry, if, you know, I don't know, whatever it is, is successful by the worldly standards, then that's an added bonus, but it's not your main goal and it's not your main thing. And I and I did on, on uh, TikTok back in 2021 till about 2023, I had a little over 100,000 people following me on TikTok. The Holy Spirit did that. I didn't watch any marketing, anything. And if anything, around the times where people were putting writing on the photo, on the videos, when that was starting to happen and there was sound behind like all the audios that was behind TikTok, the Holy Spirit told me to do that before it was like a big trend. And then it started to be a big trend. And now it's still a trend. And literally, I kid you not, when I deleted my TikTok, because the Holy Spirit wanted me to back in the fall, he encouraged me. He said, I'll build your YouTube in time, but start with Instagram. And he was like, focus on the reels. I'll give you things to share, you know, scripture verses, whatever your thoughts are, dance to stuff, like your personality and who I've created you to be. I'll show you what to do, but I want you to focus on the reels. And that has been growing my um, Instagram account and even my YouTube account slowly over the past few months. But I've been so grateful because I I don't go to mar like I don't just my heart. You have to focus on the heart. You can study marketing. You can do all that if that's what God's asking you to do. But where is your heart? Because I'm telling you, Jesus will give you success. He knows the algorithms. He knows how you can be genuine and just be pleasing Jesus with what you are sharing, with what you are doing and sharing the truth and not trying to gain off of other people. I am never, ever, and I mean never, ever trying to gain off of another person. I am trying to give to you. If you give something back to me, like people give money or they give encouragements or they like or they subscribe, cool, like thank you. I'm so grateful, but I'm not trying to get anything from you. I'm trying to give you everything that Jesus has given to me that he wants me to give to you. I want to give that to you. And that's the type of people you're looking for who are gonna pour into you. And and I'm not just saying like, only me. There's people out there that the Holy Spirit is raising up online to counteract some of these false, literally disgusting movements. But the thing is, these people that are leading these movements are new believers, so they don't know any better. I believe that they're running with such a zeal for the Lord, and they're just using what they know, and there's bat like not the greatest counsel around them, so they're just running with it because they're driven. Oh, Jesus, be with this generation, be with every new believer. They don't, when you are a new believer, don't prioritize speaking things out to people. Prioritize letting the Lord speak things to you. I cannot stress this enough. I want to shake people. I feel this burden in my heart to be like, let Jesus speak to you first. I didn't get online until... So I've been saved my whole life and I have legitimately been saved my whole life. Yes, I went through, you know, seasons of when I was a teenager where you're trying to figure things out. I had some grief that was in my life that made it really hard for me to kind of cope with that and learn to just um, work through my emotions and things like that. But I was born again and saved since um, uh, elementary school and I, the Bible was read over me my whole life. Like I, that's such a treat and I don't take that lightly, but I say this that the Holy Spirit started to speak to me in 2015 and I didn't get online until 2021 and really till 2022. And even then I had, um, I fell into that deceptive demon slayer doctrine. I did. And so even with all that background, with all that biblical knowledge, the enemy is so sneaky. And I know that the Holy Spirit in my case wanted me actually to um, experience that false doctrine um, so that I could help other people. So the Holy Spirit actually wanted me to walk through that. So in my situation, it was kind of like um, testing, learning, sifting, you know. And so that might be your situation as well with some of the false beliefs you used to believe or you are believing and the Lord's walking you through it. And he doesn't want you to see it as deception quite yet because he's teaching you through it. He's showing you what isn't so you know what is. You know, just trust the Lord with his plan for your life. But still, 
I say this to say like you don't want to, even me right now I feel very mature in my walk with the Lord I can say that at 25 years old there's much I don't know there's much I still need to learn but I'm very mature in my walk with the Lord and as a human being I've been more mature my whole life I'm just that kind of person I'm an only child I spend a lot of time around adults I listen to them I'm teachable I'm not controllable but I'm teachable and I really value listening to like wise people and I've let scripture you know renew me in many ways and the Holy Spirit I've been led by the Holy Spirit it's just the power of Jesus and the gift of wisdom that he's given to me it's all Jesus and I worship him but it's a privilege to be able to you know, walk in that every single day. But even me, I've asked the Lord to grow my account slowly. And if he takes it fast, fast, then I'll know that he wants it. But I've asked him, I was like, yeah, you can let people, like whoever you want to come to my account, praise the Lord, help me steward that correctly and, and pour into them as you would want me to pour into them, but put to please you with what I'm sharing. But I don't want all the followers. I've, I know the responsibility and, I, and you shouldn't be cr just um grappling for legitimacy grappling for people to follow you you should be like jesus i worship you give me the wisdom to do what you're asking me to do bless the work of my hands whatever that looks like if that's 300 people that follow you for four years praise god that's pleasing to the lord that's pleasing to the Lord. But I want to encourage you. It is not about the followers. It's not about the money that you make. If you're doing things for Jesus, he will take care of you. Yes, the world revolves around money right now. And, and you know, it has for a long time. We need that. I'm not poo-pooing money. I'm not poo-pooing success. I'm not poo-pooing having a good follower um, following. Like that's really good. If God brings that to you and you have the characters to steward that, praise Jesus. That is not a bad thing. But very few people have the character to steward that correctly and it will consume them. The enemy will deceive them or their flesh will deceive them. And Jesus doesn't want that for this generation. He doesn't want that for anybody, but he doesn't want that for this generation. So I want to encourage you, if you're a new believer, ask the Lord, wait, did I jump ahead? You told me I have these giftings. You told me, you know, I should be online. But am I trying to do something in my own strength? Or am I letting you promote me? Am I letting you, you know, speak through me and give me the inspiration? Because every single day that I'm up here, I literally only post things if I feel prompted to from the Lord. Because then I know it's pure. It's just, he wants me to share my personal experience. Or he wants me to share my heart or my thoughts. Or he wants me to share scripture. Or he wants me to share something he's given to me, like a letter he's given to me. But that's the thing. Where is your heart? Where is your heart, Jesus' people? It's not about what you get. It's about who Jesus is and what he's given to you. And then you realize, oh my goodness, I want to freely, and I cannot, I cannot express this enough, freely give to you. Because Jesus has given it freely to you know, you, you want to give it to other people freely. If it's the gospel, if it's anything to do with teaching believers how to be believers and walk in a holy upright way. I just, I believe going forward, I can't speak for the past, but going forward, there's a new way that Jesus is going to act, going to ask his people to move in ministry in the days ahead with all the economic upheaval, the economic kind of challenges ahead and, and um, shakiness ahead at times. The Holy Spirit is going to ask people to do business differently, to have Jesus loves, he, you know, he's gifted people with business. I know I, ha I have such a heart for business. You have no idea of, I don't talk about it a lot because I'm mainly focusing on ministry right now, but I have such a heart for business. It's like, it, I feel a little bit like a nerd where I'm like, oh Lord, I want to, you know, do this. I have this idea and I, oh, it's so cool. So it's not wrong. Business is not wrong. It's, it's when you charge for ministry ministry if you are actually doing a giving a product or you've created a system that helps people in their everyday life or you're um you know a, a business that is giving to people with the skills that you have with the talents you have with the ideas that you have and you're you know contributing to society and then charging people for it that's how this world works but ministry jesus the gospel should always be free and if people feel compelled to give then praise god that's how jesus works and, and he will provide for you but i need you to understand that jesus will provide for you he sees you you don't need to control it you don't need to hop on some like little 
what are they multi-level marketing schemes to try to get more money and all stuff what if listen what if Jesus doesn't want you to be financially free because he can't trust you with that do you understand that financially free means you can do anything with your money financially free you could go anywhere what if in this time he wants to provide for your everyday needs and a little bit more, you know, once in a while, but your everyday needs so that you trust him, so that your character is built. Because in a lot of the Christian communities and the word of faith doctrines and stuff like that, they're like, oh, God wants you to be financially free. He wants you to be healthy, wealthy, and successful. What if those, what if those things like you, you can't even steward the wealth. You can't even steward the wealth right now. This is what I've asked the Lord to help me with. I'm like, Lord, help me have the character to steward your wealth properly. Because there's been times in my past where I have not stewarded wealth properly. So I'm like, Jesus, show me how. Teach me your heart of stewardship. Show me how I need to learn from you. But I want to encourage you, what if you can't, what if that would be actually the worst thing that happens? You know, that some people, when they get like, they win the lottery or whatever, they like waste it all. They, or they go into an addiction or they just quit work. And then they just start sitting there drinking and, and eating and, you know, watching all this stuff. And they just waste their life away. Sometimes, not all the times, but sometimes. So let Jesus build the character in you. Don't focus on the money. Don't focus on you know, oh, I want to achieve this. I want to achieve this. Be like, Jesus, help me know how to provide for my family if you need to provide for your family or, you know, pay these bills or do these things. Show me your wisdom, but I'm going to trust you and I'm not going to try to just manipulate others to get things and use the gospel to do that because that's literally like, oh my goodness, I'm watching this video right now and it's literally, I just, oh man, I feel like the righteous anger of the Lord, but also the sadness because people don't know what they're doing. And they are gifted with certain things, but they're using it in the wrong way to literally advance themselves and not Jesus. And they're encouraging others to do that. And it's literally grieving my heart in so many ways because I know it's grieving God's heart. You just, I want to be the example that like, you don't need to do that. You need to let the Lord slowly, slowly do the thing. Patience, patience, let him slowly do the thing so that when the thing occurs, you're ready for it and it won't consume you and you'll be able to help people and not be wrecked yourself. Oh my goodness, I could talk about this for a long time. But anyways, I think this is all I wanted to encourage you guys in this and just be really careful who you're following. Um, if they are new believers, I'm not saying don't listen to them because if they have the Holy Spirit, he can... He's the teacher. He's the great teacher. So they might have amazing things to share from God's heart. But I just, just be very, very careful. Be very, very careful with anybody, especially any young person, even me, 25 years old. Be very careful. Anybody who's just sharing and yet they're new to the faith and it's been under, I'd say, five or 10 years of being in the faith. Like just tread with caution, tread with caution always, but extra caution because, um, yeah, even, you know, even when people have been in the church for a while, they can still not, um, you know, be on the wrong page. But, you know, hear me with that, that it is true uh, in the Bible, I believe it's talked about in the New Testament. I'm trying to think of the verse right now um, where it says like new believers or something shouldn't be leaders or elders or something in the church. Like they can't elders. I think the qualification for like elders and then leadership in the church, like they can't be a new believer. And so there is this understanding because when you're a new believer, you will get swayed you know, easier. Um, and so, yeah, just be careful with it. I'm not saying don't listen to people like that, but be careful because I'm noticing a pattern that these new believers are then following so many false teachers and, oh, it's just, it's like this little pattern that's happening. And I'm like, Jesus, I love discipleship. I love discipleship. I love training people and actually encouraging them. Like, this is how you walk with Jesus. This is how you walk with him. This is the freedom of the cross. This is literally what Jesus did on the cross for you and for me. Like this is what he did and showing them, holding their hand and showing them uh, what to do. That's why I love doing these videos and sharing with you guys what I'm learning because as the Holy Spirit holds my hand and walks me through things, I want to do the same for you so that you can have clarity and you can have understanding to see Jesus clearer. It's all about Jesus. It's not about ourselves, but yet Jesus still... Um, gives us respect for ourselves and shows us 
you know, this is who I've created you to be. Like, you're awesome. I, I, I made you in my image. Just worship me with your life. And I will show you how to respect yourself, have a humble but still confident view of who you are. And it will be so beautiful. Oh, man, Jesus is so good. But be careful online these days. And if people are trying to get personal gain from like the stuff that they're sharing and you can feel that in their heart, pay attention to the heart, not the words, the heart. Ask the Lord to show you the heart. Um, just be very, very careful with that and tread with caution. So bless you guys in all the ways. Thank you so much for listening. I'll be back whenever I'm back.